so this is DIY 48 volt encasing for the LIFEPO4 batteries 48 volt um, yeah at least 280 AH or 300 AH let's see what is inside hmm big box and which is heavy so let's take these things out so this is from black cell 300h battery terminals negative positive display on off switch and oh problem in transport this thing is folded now nothing else in the box now let's see what is inside yeah I have to paint to correct it but I guess I have to remove these six screws oh it also has some sturdy clips to pick it up and a lot of screws so get to work screw so screws are out three five and -da, let's see okay so seems sturdy the rails for the balancing cables Oh, flexible bus bar for the positive and negative terminals. Not required. Let's see what else is there. Okay, so I have to take these out to find out what else is there. Let's see what this is some kind of panel I will open it just now what else is inside oh some bus bar and the clips again something here oh just nothing yeah the spacers for the cartridge yeah, these are also spacers. Yeah, but what I do not see is there are no instructions manual, so I think I have to figure it out. So now I will create another video assembling it. So wait for it and I will talk with the seller where the manual edge and so on good so wait for the new video next video the assembly video till now yeah you can subscribe and if you have liked it like it or if you have not liked it you can unlike it thanks for watching till next video for assembling this black cell diy 48 volt battery box thank you Bye. Okay, now I have all the components. Let's start. So these things below. And rest of these go on the side edge.
So these things are the spacers for the battery. So I will put them on. So now according to the BMS, this one is the B minus and this one is B plus. So I have to set a battery here first, which comes as the minus one, this side. Yeah, so the minus is this way and the plus is this way. Now the spacers between each battery and in the series the next connection. Okay, so first row is completed, now continue to the second row. Let's see how it works out. This kind of case is required because they expand and they... that's why something either you make it yourself or buy this kind of cases so that you don't have to worry about all the other stuff. And it seems to be a sturdy by me. So now they are all stacked up. Now is the time to connect them. So this one is PB16. PB16 is B, the plus side, so it will go there because the plus side is there. And this one starts with. First, uh, it has also multiple temperature controls and both are marked as B16. Okay, so means 
they can be interchanged the thermal so let's do it now is the time to set the push bars So there was a mistake, now you can see what happens when you do that. Okay, this one is too much expanded. Good, now time for the screws. Okay, so this wire is marked as B15 and this one is B16 yeah, the last negative wire and this one is B16 which is B15 yeah so this in my opinion will not work or should not work but if you say yeah I should connect B15 to B16 and B16 to B15 I will do that then every other wire connection is in my opinion incorrect so it is connected the markings on the board are not co not correct make sure it says that it is b15 or b16 but 15 is 16 and 16 is 15 and so on 14 is 13 and 13 is 14 so the instructions from the manufacturer is also wrong so follow this one only so I have connected this one is the minus and this one is the plus and let's see if it works Seven volt. The state of charge is forty nine percent. And let's set the capacity. Check the capacity. It says. Cell voltage is twelve and sixteen. This box also comes with a Bluetooth app. I will make another Bluetooth uh, another video with the app use.